Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, I will be showing you how to make abstract wall art that you can put in your home or sell using Canva. If that's something you're interested in seeing, stay tuned. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily create abstract wall art that you can put up in your home or you can sell. So we will be using Canva to design. If you need some inspo to design your wall art, you can just head to Etsy.com and search abstract wall art in the search bar. Then you can head to Canva and create your own. Once you're in Canva, you're going to head to create a design. So the size of this wall art will be 11 inches wide by 14 inches tall. You can use whatever size works for your space or your shop. So once you've gotten your inspiration from Etsy, Pinterest, or some other similar site, you will search in Canva for those elements. So in the search bar, I just typed in abstract shapes and I'm going to go through and pick a few. Once I have all the elements that I think I'll use, I make them smaller and arrange them on the page, just so I can see everything that I have. And then I duplicate the page. So that way, as I start designing, and say I delete something from the page that I'm currently working on, but I later on wanna add that element back in, I can just go to the page below it and copy and paste it from there into the current page that I'm working on. And once your design is complete, you can just delete that page with all the elements on it. At this point, I know that I'm only going to use these four elements in my design. I'm going to arrange them and then come back with the final design. So here's the final design. You can choose to leave it like this or add more to it. In this example, I added a text box and put the letter K. I increased the size of the letter and also changed the font. And I also lowered the opacity. Something else that you could do is add your favorite quote.
Another thing that you can do would be to apply filters to certain elements in your design. So all of the dark color swashes, I click on them and go to edit image, head down to the filters and pick the one I like. So after doing that, as you can see, it gives it a different look. So here's the original, plus three other options that you can do for your abstract wall art. If you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting the like button. Do you have any questions or comments? Leave them down below. Consider subscribing for more videos like this and other art related content. And as always, thanks for watching.